Now, let's just say, Mike, I want to start a YouTube page, but I feel like I don't have the equipment, software. How do I start? Well, I'm going to tell you something. I myself believe the same thing. I thought, I don't have the software to start a YouTube page. How? I need to go buy myself an expensive camera. I need to, you know, I already have a laptop and a, and a gaming computer. I'm like, I'm going to have to buy some kind of software and hope that it doesn't put, you know, strange and weird things on my computer or laptop. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I thought about it. I don't think I had the equipment and I don't think I had the time. So, yeah, I don't know. So, I, I've always kind of just like pushed it off and kind of just never really thought twice about it. Because I never thought I had the cap capabilities of doing it. And I never thought I had the patience and, and the skill set to do it. Well, have no fear. Now, I'm talking in regards to people who have an iPhone. If you have any other, other branded phone out there, I, you know, I, I don't know how well it would work. But I want to tell you, for me specifically, I have, I use pretty much Apple products that now help me make the videos. So if you have an iPhone, probably from iPhone, I, I don't know. Basically if you have an iPhone, probably if you're all watching this, you probably have the most updated iPhone. Um, if you hit your little camera and there's, there, there's these little options that you can scroll through and one of them is considered a camera. I mean, or a video. It says video on it. Sorry, excuse me. It's video. You click in that video, and I see you have an option for selfie or forward direction, you know, go, going away from you. I actually have the phone facing towards me right now, but now, or you can have it going this way, you know, to, you know, record something or to capture something. And if you have an iPhone, start recording stuff. Start recording a thing that you're doing, a movie, like I just recorded, I just recorded myself, you know, doing Legos, you know, same thing, and, um, and then from there, I've also learned that my Apple laptop, I can record in there, I have a thing called photo booth, I can take a picture or a video of me, record it and stuff, and what comes with every Apple laptop is what's called iMovie. Now it's pretty easy to use, it's nothing too tricky, and I come to find out that video editing, in my eyes, and I and I, I wanna be, I, I, I kinda have to be kinda careful because I was given this phrase that I very strongly believe in that if it was easy, then everyone would be doing it. But for me, I kinda figured it wasn't as bad as I thought it was when it comes to video editing and cutting it and adding special graphics and stuff. Um. You, you take iMovie, you open it up. I will show I will show this to you guys here in a little bit. You you take iMovie, you open it up, and you plug your phone in, and there's this option. I think it's under like file on the top bar of your of your of your uh, computer screen when you have iMovie open up, and it says import media. And import media, it's got a bunch of options. You scroll down to the latest videos that you were that you were recording that you want. You pick them. What happens is there's this cute little pie that gets filled up, right? With that cute little pie that fills up, you take, you, you wait for it to fill up, and then you take and you plop them into the little video tray. When you pop them into the little video tray, then you can take them and do any kind of thing you want. Add text, add special sounds, cut them up, um, cut them in, in different sections that where you, where you may think is useless or boring. Um, you know, you can, you can pretty much do some stuff 100% you are pretty much limited. If you want to do some fancy, fancy tricks, there is what's called Final Cut Pro, and I did see it costed about like 300 bucks. And, um, obviously if you're very serious, after you start doing it and you're very serious about it, well, look no further than Final Cut Pro is definitely worth you know, a hole in your wallet if you know you're going to be using it religiously every single day. So, yeah, let me showcase you guys how 
how, how iMovie works if any of you guys are interested or and or want to get into video making and video editing for YouTube movies or whatever. So here's my Apple laptop. I honestly don't know what year or generation or I, or uh, or uh, how did you say like iOS software that this computer is or whatever your fancy term is in the Apple world. But obviously I know this is very old, but as of right now, this this laptop is still a beast and it's still kicking. So, here's iMovie for me right here. But let's say you got a computer like this and you're interested in using iMovie, right? And you're like, well, Mike, I don't see it. I don't see it in my little tray of apps here and whatnot. Well, here's here's a, here's the way of how I found it. Obviously, for me, I didn't know if I had anything on here like it, so I Googled it, and obviously they, they said that every Apple laptop comes with a software called iMovie. Now, I didn't see an iMovie at the time. It is right here right now, but at the time, I didn't. So you go down here into this little area right here. All right, it's called a launch pad. You open up the launch pad, and basically they kind of put other apps that you may not really care for, but but are there just in case if you're curious to use it. Like here's GarageBand if you're interested in making music. And here's iMovie. So, once you click on it, you open it up, and here's iMovie. Now, how do you go about downloading the videos? Well, here you go. So, let's say you're using your phone as a good starter tool. Here I am using a phone, my phone, and it's been getting me pretty far so far. You go up here to File. Go up to File. You see this, this phrase right here, Import Media? Click on it. Now, your phone, whatever the heck you called it, will pop up right here. Once it completely downloaded and you got your little donut of happiness that popped up there, click on it. And basically, all your videos that you recorded are right here. And also, you can go down, and let's just say, if you if you want to make sure you're clicking on the one video, it clicks on it, keeps it right there. You can okay, play it real quick. Go. The next one I'm going to do is actually in bag number six. Now, let's say, like, well, Mike, I don't want to just pick just one video at a time and just open up this video. You can hold down, let's see, I think it's, like, the command button. And you can, and you can, you can click several different videos and upload it. And so, let's say I pick that one. Okay, let's say I just pick this one for now, all right? Sorry for the bad audio, but you get the idea. Okay, I picked it. You make sure you have a cute little yellow box there. And you hit import selected now after you have your range of videos that you have selected one thing that i recommend is import so many at a few times just because what happens is when you import a video in here you, you get this little like pie that needs to fill up saying that it's like loading the video in and and uh it kind of it's kind of validated in video for you to put down here. So after you have it in here, you take it, put it down here. Now for video editing purposes, I'm kind of quiet in the first you know set of seconds of my of my videos because if you watch what I do, I actually didn't catch that. Hold on a second. Let's see if you can actually see me doing it. Okay, so I think you kind of caught me there doing it a little bit. See how you kind of see me kind of like pulling away from my phone? Because I don't want you guys seeing me like hitting the, you know, hitting the record button and coming back and then be like, oh, what the heck is he doing? So I'm kind of quiet in my first set of videos. I'm to inform and let you guys know. And then, then I start talking and of course I kind of edit out, you know, the quiet and boring parts and I try to keep the entertaining parts in. So... Now, that's basically how you use iMovie at its most simplest terms. Now, for me, I basically taught myself how to do basic editing with some graphics graphics and stuff so I, so I can help better steer the videos. And, you know, it kind of helps the viewer to be, you know, hooked on and stuff and whatnot. So, 
yeah. There you have it. That's how basically I'm. That's how I'm doing my YouTube channel, and and uh, if you're someone that's like, well, I really want to do it, but I don't know where to start. Well, here's a few things that I might have done to you. A, I've given you hope, and I've given you a better direction on doing it. B, if you're making it like you're like, yeah, I want to do it, but not really, and you're using that excuse that I don't, that you don't have the equipment, well. I just showed to you that you really don't have an excuse to not do it. So, if you want to do it at your heart's content, well, you basically have my video as a fairly good reference to how someone with very limited equipment at the time, especially for me right now, can do it. Obviously, for people, like, like if you're watching this and you're like way into video editing and, and, and you know you can do it with your eyes closed you know you, you for sure have the expensive equipment the expensive software and the expensive you know tripods and all the high end stuff and i get it but for someone like me or you that may be starting out look we had the equipment sitting in our pockets and you and you know what? it's a grind to grind to be doing good and grind to to you know to get an audience and um yeah, so I hope, you know, this video is a reference, and uh, I'm out. So, oh, and by the way, before I'm out, if you can like this video and subscribe, that would be great. It would help me out so splendid. And did I say if you can like my video? Can you like my video? Eh. You know, that'd be great. Please, that'd be wonderful. And oh, look, there's a little word. But anyways, I am out. I appreciate every view, every like, every subscriber that I get. Because you know what, this me doing this, I feel like it just opens so many doors for exciting things. And when I think about the thing that I want to get into, it just gets me excited. And of course, with some of the stuff, I'm learning new tricks myself. If I'm learning new tricks, that means that you yourself can learn new tricks. And um, yeah, so I'm out. Peace.